Now when you're pairing edges here in step number five, and you have an edge right here and an edge right here, they're like they're across from each other like this. Then here's what you can do to um, switch them. You hold them in the exact same way as you would, one on the front and one on the back. And you switch it using this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, U, L, F prime, 2L, U, L, U, L prime, U prime, L, F. A lot of moves, but it does save you a few, and it pairs all four edges. When getting the corners in place, it is important to note that what exactly you're doing during the algorithm. So you can see here yellow, orange, blue, yellow, orange, blue. So we have one corner in the correct place and not all four here. Um, it's important to note that the pieces actually go in a counterclockwise direction all around the cube when you do the normal algorithm. So that's why sometimes you have to do it twice. So in this case here, this we're going to ignore the yellow color because we know all, all of these have yellow on them. This has blue and red. So this, this corner always stays. So this corner is going th to, this corner here is going to go to here, this one will go to here, and this one will go to here. So in that case, blue and red will jump across to here to the blue and red sides. So in this case, doing the normal algorithm once would be perfect. However, you see this corner is in the correct place. This green orange would jump across this piece and go straight to here to the green and red. And then this blue orange piece here would go over here to the green and orange, and then this red green piece would go down here to the orange blue. You'd have to do the algorithm twice to switch them twice. However, when it's like this, you can do the algorithm backwards to switch them clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So the algorithm clockwise or the algorithm backwards is L prime U R U prime L U R prime U prime. And the corners have now been switched in their correct places on the cube. Now, if you're solving the cube and you have four corners that need to be oriented or two corners that need to be oriented, you can do this little trick at the very end to um, solve the cube with a little bit less moves. So normally you'd have to do this algorithm twice and then you'd have to do this one four times. But take note of which side the yellow is on. If the yellow is on the right, like it is in this case, you mostly do the exact same thing. You do the algorithm forward, except you don't do the D move at the very end. So let me show you what that looks like. It's going to be in parentheses to group the algorithm to show you how it's being done. So watch. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R. You don't have to do the D move at the end. Now go ahead and turn it over to here. Now this one is on the left side. This yellow face is out the left. So in this case, we could do the algorithm backwards, and that way we'd only have to do it two times instead of all four. So you just do it two times backwards. Except you don't have to do the D prime move at the beginning. So it works like this. R prime, D, R. Now it's there. Now just do it backwards again. D prime, R prime, D, R. And you can now rotate the final two layers just like that. And the cube is now solved. That is only if you have two or four corners that you need to orient at the end. If you have three corners that you need to orient here, and then one is in the correct place, if, if it's facing, if the yellow here is facing out the right side on each of these corners, then just do what you normally would do on the last step to get them in place. But, if they're on the left, like in this case, 
then you can actually do the algorithm backwards because normally when it's on the left you'd have to do the algorithm four times before it faces up, before yellow faces up. But doing it backwards you only have to do it twice. Just be careful of how you're doing the D prime turns. The D and the D prime turns because if you do it wrong like I did just a second ago you will scramble up your cube. Just be careful. It goes like this. D prime, R prime, D, R, D prime, R prime, D, R. And it's up on the top. You rotate the top just like before. And you go, you do the exact same thing. D prime, R prime, D, R, D prime, R prime, D, R. Rotate the top once more. Remember, D prime, R prime, D, R, D prime, R prime, D, R. These layers will solve themselves back to normal, and you will have a solved cube. That is exactly how it is done um, with shortcuts. Um, hopefully this will increase your time, and then if you want, um, I can teach you how to do F2L, OLL, PLL, but I unfortunately don't know how to do it yet. In time, in time. Join me next time where you will be able to learn now how to solve the 2x2. Um, two two. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2. Two two. Um, and then I will teach you how to do the 4x4 four four, and I will possibly do a video on unboxing the Shang Shao cubes that I have bought from online. Um, that will be my main cube to teach you how to solve the 4x4. Four four. So. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully the shortcuts helped.